Now, I appreciated the, the calls and emails I got from my friends over the weekends, but I wasn't afraid. And I got to tell you, New York wasn't afraid because terrorism lost on Saturday night. I want to bring in our panel now to discuss Eric Beach and Kerry Pickett. Kerry, let me start with you. Uh, you know, listen, we know the goal of terrorism is to keep us indoors, to keep us afraid. By the same token, some people are concerned that we may become too sanguine or, or indifferent and, and with terror and, and learn to live with these kind of attacks. Well, you know what? Um, the thing here that we have is that, remember, this particular attack, it was so different than what we had to deal with back 15 years ago when 9-11 happened because... If, because this attack we didn't see in, on TV en masse. Uh, there wasn't a loss of life. Yes, people were injured. But, you know, there wasn't a horrible, horrible, tragic loss of life either. And it was also relatively uh, cleaned up, so to speak, in terms of the suspect was, uh, was uh, captured. And uh, the, we also had the situation out in, out in Minnesota as well, where the uh, suspect was, uh, was uh, killed very right. quickly. So here, people, while they may have been scared for a moment, in the same light, things seem to be handled rather quickly. Eric, I got to tell you, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're the chairman of the Great America Super PAC. If you just saw this guy, the guy from Louisiana and his wife, uh, you would have been over the moon because their enthusiasm, I have not seen this enthusiasm since the 2008 run of Barack Obama. That's right. I mean, the campaigns are very similar. I mean, you look at the primary campaign on the Democratic primary, you had Bernie Sanders that had the energy and enthusiasm. But let me bring it back to what we were talking about earlier about terrorism. I mean, I think one of the things that Donald Trump you know, the reason why people are so enthusiastic about him is because he's not politically correct. And we don't, we don't want to learn to live with terror. We don't accept terrorism in this country. We want to understand who these people are, why they want to kill us, and, then, and make sure that they're not able to enter the country here illegally, or if they are here, you know, determine the reasons why, you know, we can make sure that they want to assimilate into this country. And that's right. something that Donald Trump's been preaching on the Eric, campaign Eric, trail. Do, so. is, there, is there a fine line, though, until we do eradicate the threat, uh, do we do we cower? in fear or do we live our lives the way we normally live them? No, I, I think we address the problem. Um, so, you know, yeah, I mean, we're always going to be fearful, but I think we address the real problem. And there are people here that want to kill us. There are people that are homegrown here that now want to kill us. Right. And so it's not enough to say that we need to educate society, uh, you know, about what, what we're doing wrong. We are the greatest nation on earth. And we need to understand that people want to take that away from us. And somebody like Donald Trump represents strength and leadership, where Kerry, Hillary Clinton represents weakness. Kerry, let me ask you, who do you think this, and I hate to put it this way, but do you think this weekend's events might have helped most uh, Hillary or Donald Trump? It definitely seems to have uh, helped Donald Trump. A big problem with uh, Hillary Clinton is that she has supports uh, bringing in more refugees into this country and uh, the uh, vetting system uh, as much as the administration wants to say that it is solid still people have yeah. a big problem with it and Hillary Clinton as far as she's concerned right now people just are not that enthusiastic well even her. she said that quote we need tougher vetting guys thank you both very much coming up